Okay, Tim, first of all, thank you so, so much for being here in Brussels and supporting our event tonight with the big question, safety first question mark. Um, Tim, you are the CEO of Heart Global Mobility, Europe's first Hyperloop company. What is a Hyperloop? Well, a Hyperloop is sort of a train traveling inside a tube. And in the tube, there is almost no air, and therefore almost almost no air resistance. And this makes it possible to travel a lot faster, way more efficient, and way more comfortable than the current transportation systems. We observe that people are already very concerned when they talk about autonomous driving or flying drones. And now when they hear about Hyperloop, how, how is the reaction of the people? What, what's your experience so far? Yeah, actually, everybody is extremely excited about the concept and the possibilities that will arise when a Hyperloop network would be over a continent. Uh, we even have some people that apply for uh, being the first test pilot of testing the whole system. Uh, so, so far the system, the reactions are very, very positive and enthusiastic. So you don't have to win the trust of the people? Uh, well, safety is one of our yeah, main criteria in the design process. And we're paying a lot of attention uh, to that. Um, for us it's important, but also for the future traveler. Um, and we are working on that uh, together with the government, for example, uh, to make sure that it will become a system that is as safe as possible. And it's also our goal to make it the safest transportation system out there. Uh, so we're definitely working on that. If we talk now in numbers, I mean, if the transportation system becomes reality, how fast can we travel? Um, a transportation speed of more than 1,000 kilometers an hour is possible. Uh, so that's like even all. faster than an airplane. Um, and for example, that gets you from Amsterdam to Paris in a bit more than, uh, than half an hour. Uh, so the, the speed is, uh, yeah, is, is, is one thing. Uh, but another thing is that it's extremely efficient. It uses uh, much less energy than the, than the current transportation systems. Uh, so therefore, it's also a lot better for the environment than, for example, now uh, airplanes or, uh, or trains are. What does it do to people if they travel in 1,000 kilometers per hour? Is it, I mean, what does it do to the body? Because <laughs> it's, due to the fact I've yeah. never seen how it could work. Yeah, actually, the, the speed is not such of an uh, issue. For example, in an airplane, you almost travel 1,000 kilometers an hour. You don't really feel that. Uh, what you do feel, that are the accelerations. But those accelerations you can control to make sure it's very convenient for the people that are traveling with the Hyperloop. I always end with this um, broad question of, of vision. So what's, what's your vision about the future? I mean, in your case, transportation of the future, how do you envision how we would travel and yeah. live together? Yeah, to make it a bit uh, wider, we really envision a world where you can easily travel all around the continent, uh, travel as convenient over the continent as you can now do inside a big city with a metro, uh, for example, and that it's all one integrated uh, system that whenever you need to go somewhere uh, you get a pop-up on your mobile phone the self-driving car is there you get in this self-driving car brings you to the hyperloop station you step in the hyperloop you have your hyperloop trip and at the other hyperloop station the same thing happens in the uh, in the other way around and what's very nice about this uh, transportation of a lot of people that your region where you can transport yourself on a day-to-day -day basis uh, gets expanded um, by orders of magnitude, and this makes it possible to connect to more people, to connect to different people, to learn more, and make yourself a more developed and wiser person. And the nicest thing is that because everybody can do that in the future, uh, everybody will become more developed and more wiser, so it's eventually better for humanity in general as well. As one sentence, what do you say to people who are afraid of the future, who are afraid of technology and, and listen to your vision and are just absolutely <laughs> against it because they, they just fear that everything will be changed? What's your answer to yeah. these people? People were afraid of the first trains, they were afraid of the first airplanes, and now uh, we'll see what will happen with Hyperloop. Perfect. Thank you so much for, for your time, and I'm very much for, looking forward for the, for the event and the discussion. Thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you.